Hey everyone, it's James Frederick. Welcome to Seascapes Revival. It's the title of my fourth exhibition of 2024 and it was also the inaugural exhibition of the studio in 2015. So I wanted to revive the title of Seascapes. Um, I've talked a lot about how this is my 10th season and how amazing that is and how grateful I am. And I felt like it would be a lot of fun to look back at uh, the beginnings of the studio and then name this body of work after that inaugural season. So here are some scenes from Seascapes in May of 2015. What a fun night that was. So there were so many people crammed into my small studio, you could barely see the work, but what a great turnout and so much support over all of these years. I'm so grateful. Um, so I'm James Frederick. I live here in Provincetown and I'm a painter, an illustrator, and a cartoonist. And I'm gonna take you today through my new pieces that are seascape inspired, the show again is called Seascapes Revival and I'll take you through these um, one at a time and if you need more information about any of these pieces there will be a link here in the description so that you can click right through to more details. Alright the first piece I want to share with you is called Sky Break. It's 8 by 8 so it's a smaller piece, the smallest of the collection and it's a view from the far east end of Provincetown looking back at the monument. Um, you can see the monument, the library, the town hall, the UU. <laughs> so yeah, you get it all in that one. So it's called Sky Break and I love the light in that piece. This one is larger, it's uh, 16 by 16 and it's called Amber Sky. And it's kind of simple and graphic, but I love the rich color that um, I pulled off in this one. So yeah, it's called Amber Sky. And this piece is 30 by 30, and I call it Tide Rush. So this is a view um, walking across Hatches Harbor on the uh, elevated road, the dike. And there's a part where the water flows through the dike. And so that's what the tide rush is all about. It's this motion of water. I love how this piece turned all out. You can also see race point off in the distance there. Um, this is a great piece. It's again 30 by 30. Nice substantial piece. Um, you know these pieces all utilize my trademark um, dark canvas that I paint on so you can see it peeking through and I love the texture that that gives. And there's some detail yeah. And then I'm going to take you up here. This one is called Midday August and it's 12 by 12. And it's really kind of a simple piece as well, but it really, I think, showcases the calm serenity that the sea can bring. And this piece I call the whole tip. And the reason being it's a view from Cold Storage Beach in Truro and you get a view of the whole tip of Cape Cod. There's P-Town in the distance. Yeah, 16 by 16, the whole tip. 
And this piece is 24 by 24. It's called Magical Morning. And I've used this piece uh, to promote the show, so you probably saw it. Uh, I love the color in this, especially the contrast between these warm, rich oranges into red and then the, the coolness of this blue and purple. Um, and you know, that point at the sunset when the water becomes iridescent. So, magical morning. This piece is called Dock of the Bay and it's really similar to a piece that I painted um, all those years ago in the very first seascape. So I wanted to take that same view and do it again. So it's called Dock of the Bay. And it's 12 by 12. This piece is called Long Point and it's 16 by 16. And it's a view across the harbor at the lighthouse at the very tip of Cape Cod that we call Long Point Light. And it's on a nice, cool, calm day. Long Point. Um, this piece is large like one of the other ones. It's 30 by 30. So it's called Surf casting and it's because we have this fisherman here <laughs> in the surf casting um, what a beautiful sunset it was that night at race point beach where the sun sets kind of off to the left a bit because of the angle and some storms rolling in just a little story we were at the beach um, that night I was taking photos, the storm <laughs> rolled in, and we got blown and rained on before we got back to the car. So that one is called Surf Casting. This piece is 18 by 18, and I call it Sunset Surf. I love the motion of the water in this piece. So this is from Herring Cove, and you can see Race Point there in the distance. The color that night was incredible. So that's Sunset Surf. And then I have one final piece to share with you. And it's right here on this tripod. It didn't quite fit into the collection. So I call this piece Lancy Wharf. And if you're familiar with Provincetown, you're familiar with this dilapidated wharf that's in the harbor. It's actually right here behind my studio. Um, if you step out from my studio and go through the building to the beach, you see this view. And this was one night when the sky was so illuminated, reflecting the um, sunset. So that one's called Lancey's Wharf, which is the name of this, this old pier. So that's the collection of Seascapes Revival. And as you can see, it feels very different than the original Seascapes, not only in um, style and tone, um, but also in presentation. So that is the collection. Um, thanks for joining. I want to tell you about a couple events that are coming up. So on September 4th through the 8th, uh, the studio will be hosting uh, an exhibition called Splash. And it is a photography exhibition um, to celebrate the 1 million views of the online gallery for the Swim for Life. So the Swim for Life is a annual tradition here in Provincetown for 37 years where people um, train and swim a course in the harbor um, to raise funds for local uh, nonprofits. And uh, it's an amazing weekend. It's the weekend after Labor Day and the town is starting to get a little quieter and so there's just a different feeling and um, so the the 
exhibition will be here in the studio in person, so you'll need to be here in Promise Town to see it. Uh, it's curated by Mike Sires, who's the official uh, Swim for Life photographer, uh, but it includes the works of many photographers over the years, and it's going to be quite uh, a beautiful exhibition. Um, and if that event has meant a lot to you or you're curious about the event, um, as well, I'll put a link in here to the Swim for Life so you can understand a little more about that. Um, so that is September 4th through the 8th with a reception on the 6th. And then on September 13th will be my annual, now annual, watercolor show. I started uh, painting watercolors last year and had a great exhibition last September uh, with my watercolors and I'm doing more. So that'll be good. It's really my familial legacy, if you will, because my father was an amazing watercolorist. My sister is an amazing watercolorist. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about that connection and I'm going to share with you on that particular um, evening my father's work. I have two really significant pieces that I want to share with you that he did so that you can, you can see that. And... Um, and it will mean a lot. So that is September. And then in October, um, I have a recap of the 10 summers. So the show in October will be called 10, called 10 summers. And I'm going to share with you a lot of the things I've done over these 10 years. And you will see some of the original sketches and thumbnails of my coloring books and comic books, some of the original ink drawings from those. I have some pieces from my inaugural season that I will share. Um, it truly will be a bit of a retrospective, which um, I think will be fun to travel through, um, through all of those things. So stay tuned for that one. That is, uh, again, Columbus Day weekend in October. So thanks again for all of your support and for checking out Seascape's Revival.